Hey YouTube, Pacific Tech Wes here. Today we're going to be doing another holster review. This video is going to be on the Black Rhino Concealment Heron Appendix Carry System. So we're going to be taking a look at two holsters today. The first one is going to be looking at the uh, SIG 229 and the second is going to be looking at the Kimber Ultra. So I have the SIG 229 configuration on. Both guns have already gone through a safety check before being in this video so I'm not going to go through that again here now. But I just wanted to use this one to demonstrate you know, what it is we're going to be looking at today and we're going to go ahead and do a, an up close review where I'll share my first thoughts after carrying these each for about two weeks or so prior to doing this video. So this is an appendix carry rig. Um, Black Rhino also has an appendix carry system, what they refer to as the ACS holster, which is essentially this X the Mad Caddy. They also have a double Heron holster, whereas you could guess that's this design, but with an extra Mad Caddy. Um, cool thing about these is, and we'll again, I'll, I'll show this up close again. Um, you have an angle here, so it really does conform to your body. You got the two clips, and you have a, a wedge. Um, I did upload another video for. Um, the ACS holster from Black Rhino, where it had the soft loops, which I, I really did like that. But for the appendix carry, given the the space between the clips and where it's going to be worn on the body, I've I've always found, and I don't think I'd like the soft clips, so I had elected to get the uh, just the standard belt clips on this. Plus, it's really simple to get this on and off with this, regardless. So let's go ahead. Again, I'm just going to stand up, show you uh, how this looks with the two shirt pulled down. Um, that doesn't print, and then I'll go ahead and do the same thing with the uh, the Kimber Ultra one here, and then we'll just go ahead and take a quick look at the uh, the holsters up close in detail so you can see for yourself, and uh, let you decide if this is something that you'd want to use for your appendix carrier rig. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Sig 229 while wearing it. So as in my other videos, nothing fancier, right? It's just a simple T-shirt. Jean configuration. I'm wearing a 511 trainer belt. Really comfortable, really easy to use, um, and one that can really hold up a, a gun holster. Um, you really don't have any printing when it comes to this holster. And again, it is something that has the magazine and the SIG 229. So size comparable to that of you know another compact gun, whether it's a VP9, a, a Glock 19. But again, it's it's not an ultra compact. It's much larger than the, uh, or it's larger than the Kimber. But again, even with the 229 chambered in nine millimeter, it really doesn't print. So I'm going to quickly just show, uh, you know, I'll put the uh, Kimber one on, show you that too. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at the uh, the holster side by side. So now, still have the uh, Heron Appendix holster on. This one's for the Kimber Ultra 1911, Chamberlain 45. And just really an overall comfortable holster. Um, Took a while to get used to the uh, appendix carry configuration, just in general. But after that, I've been really finicky on the holsters that I, I do buy, that I do use, because again, it's something where you're, you're wearing it all day. And if you're doing so, you want to be comfortable. And I can't say whether it's for the uh, Q29 or the Kimber Ultra, the Black Rhino Concealment Heron Holster does its job. So. Let's go ahead and take an up close look at both holsters side by side and uh, provide you my overall thoughts. So here you have the two appendix carry Heron holsters by Black Rhino Concealment side by side. This one was for the Sig Sauer P229 and this one was for the Kimber Tactical Ultra. Um, you know, let's go ahead and take a look at them. It's essentially the same holster, just different gun of course. Um, as you can see, it's angled here. This helps in having this contour to your body so that it doesn't print. As you saw shortly, as you saw earlier in the video, when you have either of these rigs on, you know, it's it doesn't show. That's aided by having this angle here for the mag caddy, coupled by the wing, which will push up against your belt, thus creating tension and pulling that into your body as well. Um, 
same thing on the 1911 version. A little more narrow, just given that you have double stack versus single stack 45. But same concept, right? I mean, you have it angled, the wing, the clips. I mean, these are solid appendix carry holsters. Um, just for comparison, when you look at the standard appendix carry system rig from Black Rhino, it does have, a, call it a, a medium level sweat guard, which is great. Um, the Heron doesn't appear to be designed with that. I don't know if that's something where uh, Black Rhino, that's the only thing I ask you to maybe reconsider is adding that to the design of the, the Heron is to put a sweat card on it. But otherwise, I have no gripes with this holster. Um, but with the Heron holster, simply put, it does its job. It allows you to comfortably conceal your pistol in an appendix carry configuration that doesn't print and that quite frankly, if you're used to carrying appendix style, you really won't even know it's there. Um, I said this in uh, the other Black Rhino concealment video and at the time I'm making this, it's the same thing at least on the website. They do not do an upcharge for the uh, the cryptic Kydex colors. Um, I know some if you go beyond the the black, the red, the blue, the, the zombie green, you know, the, the basic colors, you know, it's an extra 10 or $15. Um, not the case with these. Uh, price on this is right around, I think, $75. Um, so again, for a price point, for a, an appendix carry holster with the designed in mag caddy, and again, they do have an, another option that has two mag caddies. I just, you know, too much for me to be honest with you. But with, uh, with this design and as price point, I, I think that it's a, a contender for the AIWB holsters that also have that design as well, but for a price point that's maybe $50 to $100 more than what this is. Um, I say this in a lot of my videos, and again, you're happening to see some holsters that I've enjoyed carrying, and because I've enjoyed carrying them, I'm going to give them a good review. If I didn't, I'd be saying that this wasn't a good holster, similar to what I did with the Incog G-Code holster, or the, excuse me, the the Incog holster by G-Code. Um, that one wasn't for me, and it's something where I wish I had found a few things out about that holster prior to buying it, because I wouldn't have. Not the case with these. The only thing that I said that I wish that they might design in Black Rhino for watching, maybe consider just adding a sweat guard, same as you have on the uh, standard appendix carry system that you guys make. But either way, both holsters are fantastic. Um, whether I was carrying the 1911 or the SIG 229, the Black Rhino Concealment Heron Holster provided me the comfort and concealment that I would hope for in an appendix carry holster. From Pacific Tac West, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and be sure to check back for future uploads.